Surfing is based on air strafing, which means when you're flying through the air and you want to turn right, hold D and move your mouse smoothly to the right. To turn left, hold A and move your mouse left. Move as smoothly as possible because shakiness reduces your speed, and don't ever hold W while air strafing or surfing. To stay on a ramp, strafe towards it. On the left side of the ramp, hold D, and on the right side, hold A. Keep your crosshairs pointed in the same direction the ramp is moving to maintain an equal height on the ramp. Turning away from the ramp will make you fall off. Looking up and down won't affect you though. If a ramp is turning, strafe away from the ramp and turn with it, holding D to turn right and A to turn left. If you're moving too slowly though and you think you might fall off, push the opposite key towards the ramp to stabilize yourself. Or if you're moving even slower, just strafe towards the ramp the whole time. Move your mouse towards a ramp to jump up higher. Some jumps might require an intense flick to reach your height, while other jumps at fast speeds might require a slow, steady turn towards the ramp. But if a ramp gives you too much height, you can either leave the ramp early or turn the mouse slightly away from the ramp without changing your strafe to get less air off an inclined ramp. So here's another example of the same thing. That gives you too much height, but turning away from the ramp gives you less. And the most important thing to learn is how to land on ramps when you're falling down from above them. You don't want to hit them straight on like this or you'll lose all your downward speed. Instead, turn to the side when you first touch them, strafing away from them, then strafe back towards them, turning smoothly back to be parallel with them. This is what people mean when they say to land smoothly. So if you're falling down and landing on the right side of the ramp, you want to push D and then A like that to land smoothly. Landing on the side of a ramp like this is similar. You want to land on this the same way as the other one, so the first thing you do is line up with it, then strafe away from it to slide to the bottom, then turn back towards it to maintain your height. From directly above, turn almost all the way perpendicular to the ramp, then turn and strafe towards it as soon as you hit it. Doing this sort of converts your downward speed into sideways speed. This is the main thing you need to master if you want to learn how to surf fast. And now for some situational tips. On Resurfed, if you hold jump, you can bunny hop or b hop without losing speed. On KSF, b hop is on only for certain parts of the map that require it, but if there isn't auto b hop in CSS, then bind your scroll wheel to jump in console and then spam it when you need to jump and not lose speed. A lot of maps have long left turn spins like this, so I'd recommend binding a mouse button to plus left so you don't run out of mouse room. And if you ever come across water, just hold jump and you'll glide right over it. Never strafe against surfaces that are completely vertical or you'll clip into them. Instead, do a maneuver like this. It'll give you more speed anyway. On some maps that have boosters, you can do what's called crouch boosting to get the boost twice by binding your scroll wheel to duck and spamming it when you jump on the boost. This is against the rules on KSF though, excluding a few maps, but on Resurfed it's fine. If you ever need to stop on a dime, look straight down to see where you are, let go of A and D and push S to stop. B hopping in circles at the beginning of stages is called pre-hopping. It's against the rules on KSF and Resurfed. So on Resurfed, when you leave the start zone, it always reduces your speed to about 350 if you're over that. On KSF, after 4 pre-hops, it resets your speed. Some maps will let you do a telehop to start with extra speed. This is when you hold jump and fall off a ramp while moving fast so that when you're teleported, you still have your speed, gaining more each time until you're at the speed cap, which is about 3500 units per second. Then you can do your run as fast as possible. People use the word staged and linear to describe a map's format. A staged map has multiple levels, and a linear is when a map is a single run from start to finish. The difficulty of surf maps are described in tiers, from 1 to 6, with 6 being the hardest. A couple of commands that you might want to know, or bind somewhere on your keyboard to save you some time, would be a teleport bind, which takes you to the beginning of the stage you're in, so that if you mess up while doing a stage, you can press it and go immediately back to the beginning instead of waiting to hit the ground. The command is slash teleport, and you can bind it to a key by typing bind v sm underscore teleport in console. Another command is slash restart, which will take you to the beginning of the whole map. You can bind it by typing bind p sm underscore restart in console. Now about ducking. Ducking is optional in surfing. It brings your feet up slightly higher so you don't hit the ground or obstacles underneath you quite as soon. If you're surfing in TF2, it can be useful to make a habit of always holding duck. But in CSS, you don't want to hold duck because it'll make you slide off ramps. If you want to push it while in air to slightly avoid something underneath you, it sort of helps, but it's not something you really need to worry about until you start surfing maps that are like tier 6 or trying to beat world records. One last important tip I would give you would be to watch skilled players surf for extended periods of time. Their techniques will rub off on you, increasing your ability without even trying, and you'll learn maps faster. A couple good surfers that stream on Twitch are Truck Truck and Evil Mr. Muffins, or you can always just log on to a skill surf server and spectate the good players on there. 
There's also the KSF Records YouTube channel where you can see all the best routes and see the way the best players surf. I often have much better luck in a map if I watch a run of it before even trying it on my own. It's good to see how people use ramps and if they leave ramps early or skip things or use a route that you didn't even know about. So I'll put all the server info and links to all these things in the description. Feel free to ask me any questions if you need help with anything and I hope you stick with surfing because the more you do it, the more fun it is.